Greetings, it's Amy with Nude Hippo, and I'm at the Chicago premiere of Vincent, A Life in Color. If you're wondering who Vincent is, chances are you already know, but I'll give you a hint, just in case. <laughs> I can't do this in heels. Now let's go check it out. Hey, nice suit. Beautiful. Look at that. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> you started this, you were a waitress at Smith & Walensky and you would see him on the bridge. Yes, yes, that's right. And then, so how did it come into your mind to, to start this whole process? Well, you know, I, you know, my first, the first inkling of it kind of came, I was, I was watching him out on the bridge and, and he was running across the bridge to make it in time to his spot to do it, to do a, a show for the CPD boats. And he had this just ridiculous smile on his face <laughs> and I thought, you know, Whatever else you have to say about this guy, he has figured out what makes him happy, and he just does it, regardless of what anyone else thinks. And I, and I thought the rest of us should be so lucky. And then I thought, you know, I want to know how so uh, how he got to this point in his life. What got him out on the bridge? You know, someone should make a documentary about this guy. I hate to say it, but I kept saying she's a waitress at Smith and Walensky's, and look at this movie. It's well done, and there are Hollywood directors who can't do a well done movie. So I, it, it's a very impressive feat of just a technology, you know, from a technology point of view on how it's done, yeah. how the cinematography is. It's a beautiful movie. Did you know who Vincent was before you took on the project? No, I did not. Um, I kind of had to get to know him through this footage, and I kind of had that same perspective of like, what is the deal with this guy? How are we going to make a feature length movie? movie about about him. But over time, I really got to know Vince and his story, and um, it's it just was really inspiring. So every like, you know, few minutes in the movie, some new layer came out, and yeah. I'm like, oh, wow, this guy really has a lot of depth. Well, he, I mean, he has quite an amazing life. I I think everyone kind of assumes that he's just like a throwaway. He sees something that's there, and I think people think maybe he's a little crazy or anything else, but he pulls on a full-time job, and he had an amazing life. He's, he's really a, a deep person, so even without the suits, he'd be fascinating. How can I make a movie about this guy? There's not enough here. Oh my god. And then I just, you know, I kept researching and, you know, talking to him and getting deeper, and, you know, and then he would suddenly come out with these revelations. Oh, oh yeah, I, I am, I was a foster child, and yeah, I lived in an orphanage, and like, you know, and you know, oh, by the way, I was a disco DJ. <laughs> you know, when that one came out, I thought, what? <laughs> when? She, I mean, she develops him as this full character. You yeah. see him first as this oddity, and then you see what kind of life he had. And so you see where he grew up, you see his brother, you see where he came from. And it's a, it's, it's a hugely educational, entertaining, touching experience. I really think he raises existential questions about how do you project yourself? How do you take your life and make it the kind of life you want? So I think it's an important film, I really do. It's a very moving movie. Now, do you ever wake up in the morning sometimes and just think, I don't want to do it today. I don't feel like it today. I guess there are times I just kind of feel that way. And because sometimes when I'm on the bridges, I, I get the feeling I'm not going to quit early because maybe the, maybe the people on the boats aren't responding. But uh, Sometimes, and there have been times where I have left the bridges early because uh, because uh, because there have been a bunch of dead boats. <laughs> but uh, but that those haven't those haven't happened too often. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see what's next in store for you. And thank you so much for talking. Have so much fun tonight. Well, thank you. Of course. <laughs> and the website, if you want to find more information about yeah, more information on my website, VincentAlifeAndColor.com. Uh, you can sign up on my mailing list to find out where other screenings are going to be when the DVD comes out. You know, buy a poster, buy a magnet. All right, well, thank you so much and have so much fun tonight. Enjoy thank the you. premiere. And thanks thank for you. talking to us. You made that so easy. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. From the premiere of Vincent Life in Color, it's Amy Zangla with Nude Hippo. Now make sure you go see this movie or else you're going to be... Green with envy. Tony, can you shut up? If the doctor decided to do his practice while doing a striptease act, he'd have to observe all the nude hippo laws. <laughs>